The New York Jets and the New York Giants made a U-turn this season. I want to know what you guys think. The Battle of New York, the Big Apple, who's better, the Jets or the Giants? And I also want to talk about, are they going to make the playoffs? The big question is, will the Giants and the Jets make the playoffs? Let's talk about it right now. But it's like he's trying to run a one-man band out there. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. It's your first time watching. Please like and subscribe. We got the button right here on the channel. Subscribe right now. If you like sports and highlights, let's dial in to the Jets and the Giants. First and foremost, Zach Wilson, the big win over the Buffalo Bills. I want to know what you guys think, obviously, but before I get into this, the Giants or the Jets, who do you got? Leave a comment below. Let's talk about this. So every time you talk about the New York Jets, you say, hey, Zach Wilson. Right away, you talk about Zach Wilson because that's your leader, that's your quarterback. Even though Joe Flacco got some wins under his belt this season, you talk about Zach Wilson. But every time you bring up the New York Giants, the conversation shifts to Saquon Barkley. They don't go to Daniel Jones, Daniel Jones, like they do for Zach Wilson. So I think that's a major concern for the New York Giants, even though I happen to like the Giants, but the problem is they're gonna struggle if your leadership and the love and the fans is not about your quarterback to start with because that's the leader of your team. Let's just face it. In 2022, the quarterback is the leader of your team and it's a throwing league. Running is important. It's always been, but more than ever now, throwing is important. So let's jump back real quick to the New York Jets and talk about Zach Wilson, what happened this season, and who they beat. I pulled it up on the screen here for you guys to see. I'm going to pull up the record and go over this because Zach Wilson and the New York Jets, okay, they happened to beat the Buffalo Bills, but they lost to the Patriots and lost to the Ravens. And they're in the AFC. And if you know this, they're playing the same stadium in New Jersey, the Jets and the Giants, but the Jets are in the AFC. So the Giants and the NFC now happen to beat the Ravens, right? So they beat the Ravens and they're over there at six and two. The Jets are six and three. Will Saquon Barkley be able to lead them to the promised land because as, as I said, Daniel Jones is a great quarterback, but he's not in the media as much. Saquon Barkley is the leader of that team. Does a great job running the ball. Uh, the guy's an excellent running back guy. You won your team, but when the contract extension comes, are they going to extend Daniel Jones? Are they going to go all in for Daniel Jones? Saquon Barkley, is this a team of the future? And will they be able to get a star receiver? Now, the Jets have been able to maneuver around this too. And, and I got to tell you, they've been bad for a long time. The New York Jets and the Giants have been bad for a long time now. The Giants, obviously in the past, won a Super Bowl not too, too long ago. But, you know, with Eli Manning. But at this point, they've been bad for a long time. And they're roller coaster teams. Are you willing to roll the dice and pick one of these teams? Probably not. But if you were to take a look, and I'm going to pull this up, because I want to make sure that I got some other stuff on the screen here for you with the National Football League. And when I pull up the New York Giants, okay, I got this up because I want to get this right. Obviously, the Eagles and the Cowboys are ahead of them in the NFC East. But will the New York Giants be able to get to the playoffs and get above one of those teams? I find it to be difficult, but the Cowboys are always in shambles also. They win, they usually have a good season, and they kind of die out, and they never quite get to that point with Dak Prescott and uh and Ezekiel Elliott so they're having some struggles out there now obviously with injuries too will the Giants be able to step over the Cowboys that's one question and will the Jets be able to stay above the Dolphins because I don't think any of them are going to eventually pass the Bills in this season but do the Jets have the ability to to you know overcome that and beat the Dolphins out for a slot in the playoffs so let's talk about this when you pull up this photo okay Zach Wilson, obviously, in the media for other reasons as well. Some off-the-field comedy, if you will. Relationship issues or relationship humor uh, or NFL memes. But he's a younger guy that wants to win. And, uh, you know, and obviously, Daniel Jones is a young guy too. But the concern is, when they go to extend these contracts for Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley, are they going to come to the table and say, hey, I'll take less money? 
you know, is Saquon Barkley going to take less money and Daniel Jones take less money so they can go out and get that star receiver they need? Because right now they're hurting. They need a big time receiver. And that's why the conversation was Claypool. Obviously, he didn't make it there. They thought they were going to get Claypool. I think the Giants wanted to get him in. They didn't get him in. And then you got players like Odell Beckham. He was in New York before. Will he end up there? A lot of people are saying he's going to the Cowboys and all the other places. I happen to think that the Cowboys do want him. I think that's where he's going to end up. But the New York Giants right now need a receiver more than anybody. And so at this point, the opportunity for the New York Giants to move forward and get to the playoffs, I think they have to look at what the contract looks like to build this program longer than just this season. I think Odell Beckham wants a two or three year deal. So let's talk about this back to the Jets. The Jets look like the better team right now with the enthusiasm and the effort to get to the playoffs, especially because they're just behind the Bills and they have the Dolphins to fend off to try to get to the playoffs. And I think beating the Bills gives them incentive, gives them motivation and excitement. Obviously, team morale is important here to get to where they got to get to. The New York, New York Giants look like they were on the up up and now they're kind of plateauing right here. Even though they're just six and two, they have a great season. It just doesn't seem like they're going to have the ability to get to the playoffs, especially with the Cowboys and Eagles ahead of them. And if you put the two together, it looks like the New York Giants are just a run-heavy football team. And that's why I think New York Jets right now are a better program. So if you look at these two teams, my pick's the Jets. I want to know what you guys think about the Jets and the Giants right now. Who's the king in the Battle of New York? Hey, guys, thanks for watching and tuning into The Brandon Mason Show. Please remember to like and subscribe. Until next time.